Now, this is, and, and, and when we do this, now, this is, <laughs> receivers come in so many different shapes and sizes and, and so oh. many different systems. There's not uh, MSRP, you know, man, it's mm -hmm. something that we can all measure everybody on evenly, mm. you know. So since we don't have a MSRP, we have to weigh all the variances. Now, now, now I've always put people that have inspired me to get to where I am. You know, it, he inspired me in this sense. And I, and I, I, the key to be a first round, the first pick of an NFL draft, I want it to be, I, that's something all receivers want it to be. They never really pick receivers. Irvin Fryer went first. He did. Overall, that was what, I was like, man, I left school, I graduated after my junior year, right? Because remember Barry, I mean, um, Bernie Kozar mm -hmm. did it. Yep. I wanted to control the draft. I wanted to control my draft. Mm. If any team draft me, I can lo they'll lose a draft pick if I didn't want to go, and, and, and I can apply for a supplemental draft as a junior. The hook to get, bring me back my senior year was they were going to make me a Heisman Trophy candidate, and they sold me and said, man, you could be the first pick taker. I really considered that. I really wanted it. But my brothers and sisters, all six of them, 16 of them said, man, we can't eat that trophy. We need some food. <laughs> you got to go to the NFL. Yep. That's, what, that's what they said. We can't eat no Heisman. We can't eat. We, we, we need some money. So, so I, I declared and went to the league. Now, growing up, I used to watch Drew Pearson. My dad, big Dallas Cowboy fan, wore the fedora hat. Mm. All his favorite receivers. With Drew Pearson, clutch. Uh -huh. He made the play Did he? in Ooh. the big moments all the time. We got a play in the National Football League called the Hail Mary. It came from Drew. And I think this is so fitting because the number eight that he started the 88 club with, the number eight stands for new beginning. Mm. Drew changed his whole life, went from undrafted mm. to Hall of Fame. When I always say distance travel, there's no one. You went from undrafted to the Hall of Fame. That's a great distance traveling. That's what you call a new beginning and changing your life. I have Drew Pearson up there. Okay. And, you know, my dad never watched me play football. Every time I called a ball, all I would do, since he never saw me play football at all at any level, I would think about his reactions to Drew Pearson. Mm. And that would be the reaction that I would hold in my head that that's what my dad did. I got Drew Pearson first. I put Jerry Rice in. Jerry Rice is the greatest wide receiver to ever play the game. I even say sometimes he's the greatest football player, I believe, mm. to ever play the game. I like uh, 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 everybody that Randy has up there. Well, those are bad boys up there. You know, I put uh, a pr premise on mine that, that, that I want uh, all these guys had to be champions, and, and everybody is a champion. That's not the case in Randy's case. Okay? So, no. so, so I, I don't get upset when I see these polls or when I see things like this, because I'll tell you guys wholeheartedly, there's not a person on that list or any wide receiver list that I would trade my career with, with the exception of okay. Jesus and Cleeks, yes. which I call Jerry Rice, yes. with the exception of okay. Jerry Rice. Okay. Not, not one of them up there, so what I four. trade. So, so I'm telling yeah. you, Jerry Rice goes in there, but as soon as you finish with the E and Rice, you start with the M and Michael. Okay. You see what I mean? <laughs> you go, you, you start with E and Rice, you start with the M and Michael. I'm that. going to yeah. go Drew, Perry, Drew Pearson, Jerry Rice, Michael Irvin, and my last guy, my last guy, I want you to understand, who alters this position. He does. We all want it to be the system of a team. I was only the passing game. Jerry Rice, only the passing game. Drew Brees, I mean, Drew Pearson, passing mm -hmm. game. Yeah. Tyreek Hill is the whole system of the offense. Mm -hmm. Tyreek Hill is my fourth guy. Mm -hmm. That is inspiring for all wide receivers to say, man, we built a whole system mm. around me. It's mm. something that we were talking about independently dependent, and you just built the whole system around me. I got to put you up there. Those yep. are my four. All of those guys are great, had great <laughs> careers, don't, don't have the rings. 
to, to get on the board here, but they had great careers. So and let me just say this with Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice played in 300 games. I played about 150 games, 159 exactly. He had 1,500 receptions. I had 750. If you turn mine over, you know, he had 22,000 yards. I had 11,000 yards. I played half the time, but I got the same amount of rings. Give me the other half. I could have walked away with six, maybe. I'm just saying that's mine. I got my mouth rush more. Everybody's happy. Key, you go ahead. Mm. Preach. <laughs> I just got to laugh. It's mm. crazy, man. <laughs> um, it, like Michael said, I'll start off by saying this. There's only one dude that I trade my career for, right. and that's Jerry Rice. As I always say, I put my film up with anybody. I, Damn the numbers. I played with 17 different quarterbacks in 11 seasons. That's true. I don't expect to be on one of those lists, so I don't really care, to be honest with you. In terms of the list, though, I don't have a problem with Randy's list. I don't know. It's all them do. Man, I wish I could have played opposite of any one of them. Any one of them. Anyone. I wanted to play opposite of Randy. I had Randy right there. I had Randy. So when you look at it, you start at the top, man. Jerry Rice. Okay, that, that ain't even a conversation mm -hmm. even had. Yeah. Okay. Then, and not because he's sitting next to me, it's something about a nickname. They don't just name you the playmaker just because they like you. True. That, that, that's reality. Yeah. The Bang 8 was created because of him. Correct. Ugly sleeves, uh, all that. Uh, all that. <laughs> all that. You know, <laughs> but he, catching the ball in the yeah. belly, long wristbands. White glove, just ugly socks up to here, just ugly dressed in a uniform. But he won three Super Bowls. He did. He backed in every it up. Super Bowl he played in, mm -hmm. he was a key cog for them. He was. When that when he wasn't on the field, that was a different team. Mm -hmm. It was just a it was just a different team. To me, yep. that's important. Winning is important. So you got two guys with right. you got two guys with three rings at the top. The numbers don't mean that, because I could. I can say the same thing. Oh, I played 11 years. I got 800 right, something catching. Right, 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 and right. if you put me with one quarterback for six years, imagine what I could have done right, okay. if I had. That don't mean anything. It's what I see. Mm. Now you talk about the third dude that does not have a ring. The third dude is number 84. All he's going to do is do this, and it's he over. Oh, you it's cannot over. cover him. When he was in Minnesota, Randy Moss, didn't even make any sense. When he went to the Raiders, and we all know what happened. And it wasn't on him, them. Yeah. How the hell you going to play with that? Once he got to New England, it was a whole nother guy again. Mm -hmm. Like like that. Like that. Okay? Now you move on. I don't know why many people, and Michael may be able to explain this to me, why they don't talk about Marvin Harrison. Why is it Marvin that people Barrett, don't yeah. mention Marvin Harrison when you're talking about some of the greatest receivers to ever play? Because he didn't block? I didn't want him to block. He 160 pounds. Yeah. What I, wanted, I don't yeah. want him to block. I want him to just do whatever he was Marvin doing. Marvin Harrison's a good one. Man, Marvin Harrison's Man, ridiculous. Hey, ridiculous. He was ridiculous. So for me, those are my four. Okay. I can, T.O. can go on and I can put Megatron off. But then again, Randy's the only dude on my list that doesn't have a ring. Okay? He just, he just didn't get one. Just didn't get one. It's close. And see, he was close. He no. just... Right. It just didn't work out in the end. No. But them four dudes right there, it's a bad dudes. I mean, they just, they are. They, they are. They some bad brothers. All right. I hear both of you. Great respect for both of you. Highly entertaining and enlightening to hear both of you on this subject. I'll break some ties here. I have made the case on this show before I worked with this man to my right that for me, the most valuable receiver I ever saw up close and personal was this man. I know Jerry Rice. I watched him very closely. I watched him against Jerry Rice. I have given him a slight edge, stats notwithstanding, because those stats are, they're, they're, they're absurd I stats. Took the ball away. These stats are, they're, they're, they're so incomprehensible what he put up right. that they will never be touched. In a lift he played. It's That's just impossible. Okay, games. I got it. That's but incredible. this man, in leadership, in impact, in big play, playmaking by the playmaker, to me, I always give you a slight edge over Jerry Rice. And I am not just saying that for your benefit because I've said it many times without your presence. 
but Jerry Rice was Jerry Rice, and and he's on everybody's list, if not at the top. Man, catch the ball the first time. And both of my lockers, and all yeah. of my lockers at all times, Skip, mm. Jerry Rice has been in high school, in college, yeah. and in the pros, and I've always said, I got to get this joker. I got to okay. get all right. this joker. But in leadership impact, Jerry was not a leader. He was more of a follower oh, on that team, okay? <laughs> so he didn't have that kind of impact. So that's where I give you the value edge. But Randy Moss is definitely on my list because I've never seen anything like it before. Never. never. Right. Well, 6'4", ran 4'2". No, nah, he's Randy Moss about 6'5". 5, 6'5". Five, yeah. long, 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 get your jump. And, and jump to your out point, the gym. this, you know, like this, nobody ever did. Man, like, I watched like, him in the Metrodome, scared of living you know yeah. what out of DBs. And I'm with Michael on this. I know he's still in the middle of his career, but Tyreek has already shown me that he changed the game. He changed it the way Bob Hayes changed it once upon a time right. for the Dallas Cowboys when he made people invent this thing called the zone defense because nobody could cover him because he's an Olympic sprinter. Tyreek is the fastest man with a football under his arm, well, heck, just in pads, that I've ever seen because you can just see it on television. He is unguardable. You already made the, you made the point earlier. No, I can't right? wait to see it's, what he do. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Because he's got a soft arm quarterback who has to throw it immediately. Like, like the, the ball hits his hands and he's just going to throw it as far as he can throw it because he knows this guy can run under it the way nobody's ever been able to run yeah. under it. So he does have a ring. He did change that game that night in the fourth quarter for Patrick Mahomes. I, I think he's done enough to qualify for this list. Oh, you better right. believe he's done enough. Yeah. Oh, my, oh my God, he's done enough. And, 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 and we'll talk here later, even on, what, 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 what that yeah. move costs other people when yeah. you let that kind of talent go. But he certainly has done enough right now. When you look at his numbers, I mean, he has, he has great numbers right now. And we know, Ren, we, we know he has many more years left yeah. to play right now. Let me tell you something, though. What makes him so insanely cre incredible that play, we saw a play, he's beating somebody deep. He just simply turned this way, caught the ball, and kept going. You got to understand, people that run fast like that, they don't have that kind of air awareness yeah. and understanding of how to turn and control that body to get the ball like that. That's what makes him so dangerous. We, I had guys that can run like Alexander Wrights and all of them. Oh, Great pretty. guys. Oh, the dudes can run, man. But they were not ball. They didn't ball like he balled, and they didn't understand the position like he did. It's just incredible. He belongs on there. Yeah, he, he, I mean, I just like, like he was different. I like for it to be finished. If it, you, if you he can was argue, fi yeah, if I, he was I finished, which yeah. which I could project, point. he gonna have big numbers when he's done playing. Yeah, and so he'll probably wind up bumping yeah. somebody off. You, you know, you know, I, I respect your Marvin Harrison because on just productivity, yeah, you look at the numbers and you yeah. say, my Marvin's God, bad. productivity. Okay. I know, like. If, he won the Super Bowl, productivity. Yeah. I mean, like, okay, you know. No nickname, and no splashy, flashy no, highlights. Just nice and, he, nice he and just, easy. And you no. couldn't stop it, and it stayed right there. It yeah. wasn't like they moved it everywhere. Uh, uh, they were going to stay right out exactly there. We over here. You come on over here and take this here, get uh. this smoke. And he put him out. He put him out in misery. All right. So, well, which receiver going to take We got another man. good barbershop I'm topic still, coming up I'm because Keyshawn – is about to make his case once again for Mahomes over Brady as the GOAT. Huh? I, I, think I get my young 88 on this if he gonna take care of business yeah, this stop, week. Man. I don't know now if he gonna take uh, Tyreek Hill out if you take out one. Maybe no mercy, no mercy, no mercy. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.